This is James Lee with James Lee's Bees, and we are doing some UBO testing today uh, through some UBO that was acquired for the Sustainable Beekeepers Guild. We're going to test out some of the colonies that have been uh, open mated from stock purchased from Stevens Bee Company last year, as well as throw colonies that have been uh, retrieved throughout the state of Michigan, the southern lower portion. This is James Lee with James Lee's Bees, and we are doing some UBO testing today uh, through some UBO that was acquired for the Sustainable Beekeepers Guild. We're going to test out some of the colonies that have been uh, open mated from stock purchased from Stevens Bee Company last year, as well as throw colonies that have been uh, retrieved throughout the state of Michigan, the southern lower portion. This is the UBO applicator in the um, basically the form that you will receive it. Uh, this is how we received it, you see from Optera, and it comes with this tip, which is bagged separately. I don't know if that will be its final form, but you will take that tip and you'll put that on there and screw that tip in. And you'll remove the uh, aspirator here, this particular plastic cover. And you're going to take your vial of the UBO and you're going to invert the applicator and you're going to puncture the UBO solution through the septum. And then you're going to squeeze on the levers here so the vial can enter all the way down. Try not to break it, it's plastic here. A lock in place it looks like. Yeah, lock it in place. A Little bit of a struggle there initially. And then make sure that it's clasped onto the top of the vial. It looks like that everything's good. I'm gonna flip this back. I'm gonna put that plastic tip back in my pocket to protect that for later. And you are to prime this a couple of times until you get the primer here uh, vacuum cleared out and that way you have enough pressure in the vial as well to promote the solution through the uh, nozzle tip. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna prime that a couple of times until you get your first initial spray. One, and you can see the solution is entering into the chamber there. Two, a little bit of air bubble and we're gonna go one more time. And the instructions from the Optera say that you should um, prime it until you get at least one spray. It looks like the chamber is mostly full, so I would imagine that the next one is going to spray. There's go. We got one spray, so the actuator and the uh, tool and everything is primed and ready to go. And we are going to initiate the first test. So. We have here this colony number 62. Number 62. This is a F2 from Stevens B Company stock that was locally mated to my stock. And we're gonna go ahead and pull the bees out and we're gonna shake the bees off and then we are going to put the application on there. So this is the application ring. This you will place onto the brood frame you find a nice little circle of brood that's not emerging and you're going to twist it down into the brood just so it's just touching in there. The instructions say not to damage the wax if you can. Just get it, enough in there, get it in there enough to where you get a good bite. And then we're going to give it three sprays. Got a good shot in there. I got a good shot. And Jeff from NK Apiaries, Jeff Waslowski. All right, we're gonna go one, two, 
three. So we gave it three good sprays. Get okay. that? Yep. Is that good down? Doesn't look like it got all that down there on the bottom. All right. Still recording? Yep. Then we're going to take the ring off of there. We're going to place this back in the hive for two hours. Current time right now. Mark the frame UBO so we know which one to go to. We'll go from there. All right. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Holding it center. One. Two. Three. Down in NK Apiaries, we uh, work we work hives from the front. <laughs> We're looking for a brood frame that's got enough cap brood on it to do a UBO test. Queen should be marked white or yellow. So yeah, she probably marked yellow. And Jeff is working these bees without a veil, and the other day they were kicking my butt. Well, they knew who they're dealing with here, is all I can say, James. <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't mess with you either. So let's see. So this doesn't have any in this box here. No brood? No brood that we can use. Nothing. So. We're gonna go into the other box. That's really light. Yeah, I just, I just basically robbed them, gave them a bunch of frames and checkerboarded them. No cap brood there. Any queen here? Let's see. No queen. Let's put that there. There's a nice pattern right here. Oh, wait a minute. It's this other thing. Yeah, that one looks good. I can see it from here. We can test that one. I don't see a queen. Let's shake these off a little bit. Come on, shake it like a man. Yeah, Bob Benny says you gotta be gentle for the girls. as he takes a nylon brush to the frame. All right, you ready? I'm ready, let's put some. Grab your ring. Find a good spot. Give it a little twist to tight down in there without damaging the brood. Okay, we're good. Yep. And then we're gonna spray it. One, two, three. And we'll put something to mark the top of that. Jeff just got popped, Mr. Gentleman. Looking for the queen here. 
does not appear to be on this frame. This one's probably yellow. I'll shake them off. Okay. Here's the ring. Mm -hmm. Find a good batch of brood. I don't see any really emerge. I don't see any real emerging areas. So that one will probably suffice. Yeah. And then we give it three squirts. Oh, I missed. Looks like this one kind of ran out. So how how good did we get it? Yeah, just partial. Oh well, we'll see what they do with that. And that's the last of this particular vial, which had five tests in it. You can see it's adequately labeled as five tests because I don't do math well. Um, and thankfully, Optera is accommodating for people with uh, disabilities such as myself. All right, so this is how you remove the vial from the applicator, which is handy dandy. I really like it. Um, it's a little tricky to get comfortable on how you're holding it, but I found that it was easiest to hold like this. I've got pretty bad arthritis here in my fingers, so it doesn't really matter how I hold it. It's always gonna hurt, but it's still pretty comfortable and ergonomic. Um, so you press on the tabs here on the outside and you're going to Squeeze it just enough to pull this vial back off. You don't want to put too much pressure on the inside of the clips there because they will break if you put too much pressure, but it is pretty heavy duty. It's not, it's not so fragile that you can't monkey around with it a little bit, but you still want to be careful with this medical grade plastic. And you pull it off the applicator just like that. And I'm going to put the plastic protector, if I could find it without having lost it in my pocket back on that nozzle so that it doesn't become contaminated while traveling or plugged or clogged. And we will be moving on to the next yard. I don't know what he's doing there. Might have been recording, huh? All right, hive number 50, swarm trap B. Hive number 23, swarm trap Bs. We're gonna do UBO tests on these two and then fly over to the airport yard. I'm just gonna sit here and look cool while Jeff does all the work. And I'm gonna do that thing where you like look like you're doing something, but you're really not. around the back of my jacket. The one that Jeff's inspecting, I've been looking for, I've been looking for the queen at every inspection for the last month and a half. I can't ever find her. The marking on her is kind of rough and I've trained myself to look for the marking, unfortunately. All right, you ready? Ready, bro. Let's do it. Where's your paperwork at? Right here on the hive. 